I'm Trina Parker with the Public Works Department. Every week, you drag your trash and recycling to the curb, and when you get home, it's gone. Today, we're talking trash with the Solid Waste Division crews to find out what happens when your trash bags leave the curb. It's a typical morning. You set it out, solid waste crews pick it up, and throw it in the truck. Generally, you know, in terms of processes, you know, everyone places their bag of trash out to the curb. Um, we like to try and keep that social promise that says if you put your trash out by, you know, 7 o'clock the day of collection, we'll pick it up um, by the time you get home. The trash bag's journey continues even after it's compacted in the truck. Once the truck is full, the crew heads to one of the city's designated landfills. Solid Waste Division Manager Michael Shaw explains the process. So what happens is the truck will actually just dump it out onto the ground, what we call the, the face of the landfill. Um, it's, it's merely just a hole that's been dug in the ground that gets uh, dirt put over top of it on a daily basis. So the landfill operator will take you know, a very large bulldozer type truck um, and kind of compact the trash down. We do that in order to maximize the amount of space in the landfill. Now back to the maintenance workers you see every week picking up your trash. Every day they walk between seven to nine miles, lifting about 14,000 pounds a day. They start around 6 a.m. to get prepared and work through rain, sleet, or snow. It's a very long day for your typical maintenance worker, and it's not always the safest job. Citizens may unknowingly be putting the workers at risk. Solid Waste Supervisor Donald Finley explains. Well, a lot of times, uh, people, they put needles in the bags, and the guys can get stuck by needles or glass, they get cut, uh, they get bleach in their eye, you know, those sort of things. So that would be very helpful if they, you know, would be more aware of what they're putting in their trash. It's not just what you put in the trash. Citizens behind the wheel can also be a hazard to the crews. And you know there is a proper way to pass. Uh, you just toot your horn, let the guys know that you are back there and you're coming around. And they will just kind of lean to the side and let you on by. These maintenance workers want to make it home safely and you can help by paying attention to them while you're driving and watching what you put in your trash. Here are a few more tips. Put your two bags out together, try to keep the bags neat and clean, and don't forget Use sturdy bags if you got you know large bags. Make sure they're sturdy um, so that they they don't break when they're being lifted. And what's up with the two bag trash limit? It encourages recycling. If you have extra trash greater than two bags of trash, and you go buy a trash tag at a local Price Chopper or Westlake Hardware Store, um, the intent of that is is to reduce the amount of waste we send to the landfill. Citizens needing to use more than one trash bag have to buy a trash tag at their local store, which costs about $2.50 a bag. You know, landfill space is not infinite, I mean, meaning uh, it will at some point be full and can't be used again. Here in the metro, we had four landfills. One closed four years early, and one is scheduled to close soon. Then we'll only have two to use. So preserving our landfill space is gonna be very important for Kansas Cityans uh, to ensure that we can have uh, cost-effective services uh, for years to come. Don't forget, recycling is unlimited. We'll talk more about KC Recycles next time. Until then, I'm your host, Katrina Parker.